All right, welcome guys. This is Lori with Fly Dog Fitness. Um, we've got primarily a strength day coming at you today, but I want to get us warmed up first. So um, let's not worry about that too much. I'll talk about structure of your workout here in just a minute. Once we get a little bit warm, we're going to just um, do some 10 rep exercises that we'll put on repeat. Hey there, pup. Are you joining us for workout today? I hope. All right, so just follow me, follow along. We're gonna do um, reps of 10, and then we're gonna repeat hopefully two or three rounds of it. So we're just gonna start with 10 regular jumping jacks. Then we're just gonna hop into 10 total skaters. And then we'll walk it out with 10 Frankensteins. Just do 10 total on this as well. All right, the last two I wanna do, we're just gonna do five reps of. So we've done our 10 jacks, 10 skaters, 10 Frankensteins. Now we're gonna do five push-ups. And we're going to do five fly sit-ups. Then we're just going to put all that on repeat. Okay, so five push-ups, five fly sit-ups. Diamond those legs on your fly sit-ups. Really reach up and push forward. All right, so as you finish that, we're back up into our jumping jacks. Round two, we're going on 10 reps again. And you're into your skaters. Frankensteins are next. Then we're back to our two exercises at five reps. That's our push-ups and our fly sit-ups. As you finish that second round, I want you to go ahead and hit a third round. This will be our final warm up round. You're back to jumping jacks, skaters, Frankensteins, push ups, and fly sit ups. Last round, guys. All right, finish it out, guys. Five push-ups, five fly sit-ups. Then you can take the opportunity as you finish to get any extra stretching you need or grab a quick drink if you need. And I'll be talking to you about our structure today. Today is definitely going to be more of a strength day today. Um, we're going to be adding in some weights. Whatever you have, we will make work. Um, obviously, if you need to modify something along the way, you can do so. But what I 
have us doing is I have us on a timer, which is good, okay? It's kind of like a triple threat timer where we're gonna do three exercises back to back to back. And they're actually just gonna be all variations of the same exercise. So for example, set number one, we're gonna be grabbing something that we can press, all right? It could be double dumbbell, could be single weight, doesn't matter. But what we're gonna do when I say go or the timer, we're just gonna do our regular presses. So double is here, single is here. When we get to the next exercise, the buzzer I basically gave you like a three second transition in between your exercises. So you guys will be able to follow along with me. But the second time, now we're just gonna do a pulse, a press pulse. So these are quicker. So it's actually gonna be less time than that first set. If you have a weight here, you can just pulse like this. Then exercise three, we're gonna do what we call negatives. So we're gonna power up and then we're gonna slow lower that weight. So power up the press, slow lower. So they're all variations of presses. First one is regular, second one is pulses, third one is what we call negatives where we just slow it down, okay? We're gonna do a couple rounds of this, I'm not really sure, I'm just gonna hope that we can get about three rounds of everything. And uh, again, I'll have you on my timer, so I'll just talk you through it. Presses first, that's our warning, buzzer is go. Here we go, regular presses. You're gonna hear a buzzer. You're gonna get about three seconds transition. And then we go to exercise two. All right, now we're pulsing. There it is, there's our buzzer. Little pulses. Getting ready for negatives next. All right, here we go. Press them up. Slow it down. Press them up. Slow it down. This is our longest increment of time right here. You will have a 15 second rest at the buzzer. I would recommend maybe setting those weights down. All right. You have 15 seconds here. We start a second round. Hopefully you guys kind of got the hang of that. We've got five seconds here before we go. That's our warning. Presses. Pulse is next. Here we go. Hang in there. All right, negatives. Press them up, slow them down. Nice work, guys. Come on. Slow lower. All right. There's our 15 second rest. We're going to go one more time through, guys. I'm switching up my weight. I got real heavy on me. Activity complete. We're going in five seconds at this horn. All right. Let's do it. Last round. Full press. Fight through it, guys. You got it. Woo. Get tough. Get ready for negatives. Here we go. Negatives. Last one. Press them up. Slow them down. Nice 
Nice work, guys. Almost there. Rest time, good stuff, guys. That gives you an idea of kind of the structure that we're gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna let you guys grab a quick drink. I'm gonna modify this just a smidge. I'm gonna put a five second um, break in there as opposed to three. I think we can all appreciate that, especially as we go on. So let me just update this real quick. Y'all grab your drink. We're going to be going into squats next. So if you're thinking about what weight you want to add, we're going to do the same structure where we're going to do a regular squat. Then we're going to do a squat pulse. Then we're going to finish with what we call negative squats. So what we do is on that one, we slow lower into our squat right here, and then we power up. So first one, regular squats, regular pace. Set two is our squat pulses. Those are our baby squats. And then we finish with our negative slow lower squats, all right? Add in whatever you weight, weight you want there. Single weight, double weight, does not matter. I got you on the timer. At the buzzer, regular squats. Here we go. This is regular paced squats, nice deep, power up. All right, next buzzer, pulses. There we go. Get into the bottom of that squat. Start your pulses. At that buzzer, you can stand up and rest before we do negatives. All right, slow lower negatives. Like a three, two, one, power up. Take that rest time. Adjust those weights if you need to. Activity completed. We've got five second warning at the horn for round two. Regular squats. Chins up, nice tight core. All right, negatives coming next. And up quick. It's a slow lower. Power up. All right. Two down, one to go. Nice work, guys. Activity completed. Going in five. Regular squats, get them going. Let's go. All right, pulses, last ones. Final negative. 
negatives. time here guys nice work that worked out well i think with that five second um transition time so we'll keep that for the next round we're looking to go into some curls next so all biceps in our triple threat we'll do a regular curl up and down then we'll go into what we call pulses I may change these up on you um, per round, but what we'll do for the first one is we're just gonna do some bottom pulses, meaning from all the way to the bottom, just up to 90 degrees, all right? Then when we get to that third exercise in the triple threat, you're going up normal, slow return. Up normal, slow lower, negative curls. So all curls this time, guys, isolate those biceps by offsetting your feet elbows at your sides no swing in your back and your hips all right i've got your warning buzzer ready to go actually it's a horn and we're gonna do all curls let's work on those biceps I'm not starting beefy this time here we go regular curls All right, we're going pulses. Here we go, short, quick, just up to 90 and back down. All right, up regular, slow lower. Resist it down, three, two, one count. Power up, resist down. All right, 15 second rest here. Activity completed. Reset that timer for you. Five second warning. Round two. Regular pace, guys. Be feeling it on this second set. All right, this set of pulses start at 90 and go up. Here, and we're going up and only back down to 90. These are top half curls, top half pulses. All right, negative time. Here we go. Control those weights on the way down, guys. Slow them down. Hang in there, almost there. All right, rest time before our final round. Activity completed. All right, here we go. Final round, guys. Here we are. Good old regular curls. This is one of those sneaky days. 
getting a little bit stronger without having such high intensity. All right, let's do five of each. Five bottom half, five top half. Here we go. So five at the bottom. Then take them up tops. Five at the top. Nice work. All right, last negatives, guys. Let's control them. Here we go. Up normal, slow lower. Don't forget to power them up when you get to the bottom. work. I try to do my best to kick from upper body to lower body. However, since we just did biceps, it would make the most sense to go ahead and do our triceps. This time, if you have the ability to do some dips, I'm going to put those in there in place of our pulses, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do a regular tricep extension, which is just a behind the head, right? Elbows narrow, extension. Then for your pulses, we'll do dips if you can. If you don't have the ability to do dips, just do a quick pulse with the tricep. And then the third exercise, instead of doing negatives, I wanna do cobra push-ups. So everybody should be able to do that. So we're doing a tricep extension, a dip or a pulse, and then we'll finish out with cobras. So make sure that you guys have figured out how you're gonna transition because this one is more transition than we've had to do with any of the other exercises. We're starting with regular tri extensions. Everybody got your weight? Take them up. Got your timer ready? Rest time here, guys. Nice work. Let's do it again. Activity completed. Round two coming up after this five second warning horn. Back to try extension. if you can, or pulses. <laughs> Cobra push-ups. Those elbows narrow. Here we go.
All right, nice job. Last round of triceps coming up. This one's gonna be good. Activity completed. All right, five seconds, we go, final round. We'll kick it back to legs next. Go ahead and grab a drink break here if you need it. I'm gonna move my mat because we're back to legs. Basically, we're gonna do two different types of lunges, and then we're gonna, in the middle, I'm gonna throw in a lunge pulse. So, just follow me along. This one's gonna be a four rounder instead of three because what we're gonna do in that first round is we're gonna do a one leg pulse, right, for the whole time. Then round two, I'll remind you to switch legs when we get there. Then round three, we'll be back to the start leg. Round four, we'll be to the other leg, okay? First one, when you hear that timer, we're just gonna do an alternating side lunge, okay? So weight can be like right here at the center of your body. Side lunges. Exercise two, you're then getting into that one lunge pulse. Then exercise three, we're gonna go to our drop lunges. Again, weight can be right here at your chest. I'm dropping that leg back and I'm alternating. So remember it's that awkward shoulder square drop lunge. So side lunges, lunge pulse, and then our alternating drop lunges. Remember when you're doing the lunge pulse, you're only doing one leg, all right? Then when we get to round two, we switch legs. I got your timer ready. Grab a weight. You're ready for side lunges. <laughs> like you started with. All right, alternating drop lunges. Keep those shoulders square. Rest time here. Activity completed. Back to side lunges. In five, here we go. All right, 
switching up that leg for lunge pulse. Nice work, settle in here. All right, back to drop lunges. Keep it up, guys. All right. Two down, two to go here, guys. Nice work. Two more rounds of lunges. Activity completed. All right, side lunge time. All right, lunge pulse. Back to our drop lunge. Last lunge round, guys. We got this. Activity completed. Think about that posture, guys. Chins up. Nice tight core. Switch your legs for that lunge pulse. All right, here we go. Final drop lunges. Nice square shoulders. Let's see them. Finish out strong here, guys. Final five seconds. And rest. Good stuff. Okay, drink break time here if you need it. So since I bumped that last one up to four, I think it would only be appropriate if we back this next one down to only two rounds, which is good news for everybody because it's a burpee round. These are not needed to be weighted, okay? So weights aside, we are gonna start with a regular burpee. When we get to the second exercise, we do what we call our half burpee. Half burpees, we never stand up. So if I'm here, my feet are gonna go back and up, back and up. I never actually stand up. Then the third burpee, which we would normally call a negative burpee, we're gonna do a power burpee. That just means you're adding a push up into your full burpee. So regular burpees, half burpees, and power burpees. 
And again, I think it's only appropriate that we go ahead and back this down to two rounds. Y'all agree with me? Yes, I'm sure you do. No weights needed here, guys. Let's knock this out. It's really only two minutes worth of work, two rounds. Burpee time, here we go. Don't be afraid to push. Power burpee time. Rest time. Hey, super good news. Only one more time through. Activity completed. That'll get the heart rate up. All right, everybody stay in there with me. Let's push through this. Come on. We got this. time here guys good work recovery time all right i have two sets left but not sure we'll get to both of them so let's go to our sit-up set we're going to do a regular sit-up then we're going to do a crunch then we're going to do our negative sit-ups so kind of the same pattern as we've been doing all day today. Regular sit-up pace, then we'll change to a crunch, then we'll finish with an up, quick, slow, lower back to your mat for our negatives, okay? I've got your timer ready, and we will start with regular sit-ups. Everybody have a seat, move anything you need to, get ready to go. If you wanna add a weight in there, that is your call up to you. Here we go, regular sit-ups right here. Just nice regular pace. All right, I'm gonna do a crunch up to the sky. So this first set is just going to be a crunch, elevate those shoulder blades up, reach it up. All right, negative time. Power up, slow lower.
Let's do it again. Let's do this as a three rounder. Three rounder this time. Set number two. Back to sit ups. be a half back crunch okay so i'm not going all the way back going here and up you guys can do the same crunch as before or you can follow me here all right full negatives here we go Final round of our sit-up series right here. Get your timer rolling. Last sit-up series. Here we go, crank them out regular sit-ups. Should be finding those abs right about now. Should be feeling them. Crunch time, any any crunch you want. All right, final negatives, let's get them. Just about that time, guys. I'm gonna finish this up with some rows. Um, one to two rounds, just to stretch it out. If you can stay with me, go ahead. If you gotta dip out, I understand, but I'm gonna put you on the same timer. We're gonna start with an upright row. Then we're gonna kick it over to a bent over row for our pulses. Then we're gonna finish out with some plank rows, okay? So at least one round. I might kick it to two. Again, if you gotta dip off, I understand. But upright row is here. Elbows high, that's our first set. You can use single weight or double. Here we go, pulling those elbows high. Breathe. Working that back. Next one, bent over row here, pulling it to my chest. Here we go, these are our pulses, in place of our pulses. The final one, as a reminder, will be an alternating plank row. All right, plank rows. All right, nice work. Final round right here. Got your timer ready, going in five. Final round. Upright row. There we go, this is it. Final minute of class today. All right, 
bit row here. Nice work, guys. Almost there. All right, final plank rows. all right nice work that's a wrap guys good strength day today hopefully y'all felt it hopefully you feel like you got a little bit stronger um great work and we'll see you next time thank you Laurie. Ciao. Bye -bye. all right later guys